Hello and welcome to the London Fashion Arts video on how to adjust your dies. So today I'm going to show you how to adjust the dies, both the fill depth and the ejection depth for the TDP range. As you can see here, I have got my working TDP freshly arrived but the dies are completely unset. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to have to adjust them. And the first thing that we're going to adjust on the dies is the ejection height. Now the ejection height is really, really important. You will end up with, if you're getting halved or broken tablets coming out, often it will be down to the ejection height. What happens in the process of the machine is the die comes up, as you can see here, and if it's too high, as it is in this scenario, it gets jammed. So the first thing we're going to have to do is actually lower the ejection height. Now, all of the heights are controlled off this side pin here, and there should be a little bar and an allen key holding it. So first thing you're going to want to do is loosen that off like I've done here, so that you can get to your nuts and uh, adjust them. Now if you spin it, if you spin the top bolt towards the right, that will move your ejection height down, as it is in this scenario, as it is in this case, if I zoom in, see if we can get a better shot on that. Okay. So if I move the top die to the left, it raises the ejection height. And if I move it to the right, it lowers the ejection height, as you can see in this situation. Before you go to adjust your ejection height, you need to make sure that the machine is at its highest point in its rotation. So the best way to tell this is to start moving the machine clockwise until, bam, this arm gets to the highest point possible. At that point, you want to just loosen it off a bit, because otherwise it will be tight to move, and then just start moving it so that your ejection height here starts to line up. So mine is too high, so at the moment I'm moving it to the right. Then you just want to bring it back in, and it's still a little bit too high. What you can see is happening is that the, the boot, which does not only the filling, but it actually ejects the tablets off the die, is catching on the die just as it's about to come off. You can see it just catching there. So that shows me that I need to drop it down just a little bit further till it's completely flush and smooth. And there we go, we're getting an absolutely smooth action over that. And if I just run my finger over it very, very gently, I can tell that it is absolutely perfectly flush. You want to try and get it just little half turns, little quarter turns, little, little turns, right until, oh, a little too high there. Move it down a bit. Move it down a bit, sorry. Just until that's perfectly in line there. Just until just until it's perfect. Now once you've got your upper ejection height um, sorted out, the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to calculate your fill depth. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to move it round till you get to the bottom and that will show you <coughs> your fill depth. Now you can see this bottom nut here. If I move this bottom nut to the left, I am decreasing my fill depth, and if I move it to the right, I am increasing my fill depth, like so. At this point, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to clean out your dies. So, you need to clean out your dies with a dry lubricant before you get to work with putting any other powders in there, which is the next step that comes along. And in this case, we use magnesium stearate. So just tip some generally into the hole at the top and across the die face. Be quite sparing with it at first because you really just want to make sure that those dies are clean before you 
get to work with anything else. And this dry lubricant really is very, very important in ensuring that your machine does not jam up at a later date. So it is good to just get it done at first. Just get some magnesium stearate in there. Work it through a couple of times just so that you know that it's all present and correct, like so. Right, the next thing that you're going to want to add after you've popped your dry lubricant in to help you calculate your fill depth is you're going to want to pop in a little bit of your uh, microcrystalline cellulose, which is your binder. And then we will be able to start looking for the right size tablets. So I popped in some microcrystalline cellulose into my into my dye, and it's produced the first tablet, which is, in my mind, far too full. The fill depth is far too full. So what I'm going to have to do, what I want to do, is I'm going to want to increase the fill depth. Sorry, decrease the fill depth. So. Clean out the die, move it to the filling position like so, and now I want to adjust the die up. So to adjust the die up, you have to twist it to the left, or clockwise, like so. Now I knew that I wanted to do it to about half. Oh. Injection height still isn't quite right. Oh no, it was. It just continues to move up a little bit further. There we go. That has given me my first tablet out of this machine, which is starting to come good and it's pretty solid as well, which is absolutely perfect. So if you want to increase your fill depth, you uh, roll it all the way to the bottom, like so and you need to move it towards the left to decrease and the right to increase. Just continue to very, very slightly increase it here. Once you've aligned up your fill depth, you need to tighten up the locking nut on the side, which also has the bar that holds the cogs in place really make sure that this is very tight, you don't want this to be loose at all. There we go, lock that up. I'm going to pump out a couple by hand now. There we go, we're getting them out by hand, which is absolutely perfect. Now if I just clean off some of the excess white powder around from here. Sometimes it's good to have a painter's brush to do this with. So there we go, we're getting three tablets. We've got three tablets out of here. Now, next thing that I need to do is I need to decide whether or not my punch strength is strong enough. So if I take a look at this tablet here, it doesn't take, as you could see, it doesn't take a lot to pop it open. Let me show you with another one, fresh one. Just pop it between my fingers and oh, it is relatively strong. But there again, it goes it goes quite easily. I think if you were to have a thousand of these inside a bag, they'd go quite quickly. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to move up the machine a little bit. And we're going to adjust the punch strength. So the punch pressure is controlled by this top bolt here, which actually sits snug against this pin here, which is the part that actually controls the punch pressure. So to increase the punch pressure, going to rotate it towards the left very very slightly to decrease move it towards the right obviously if you find let me show you actually if you if you increase the punch pressure too far like I've just done now okay so the best thing to do to calculate the upper punch pressure is to move the die until BAM it's absolutely solid then move it slightly up until you can see this die then start twisting it to the right very slightly bit by bit, then try it back into the machine. Will the machine turn over yet? Bam, perfect. So that is the tightest you are gonna be able to make your tablets, which is the ideal amount, really. You wanna be able to get them as tight as possible. Then once you've selected that depth, you wanna twist this upper bolt down, and then get two sets of 
monkey wrenches or pliers. Adjust one up to fit the bottom nut. Like so. And do another one up to fit the top nut. And then twist them in opposite directions till they lock up against each other. Now this can be quite a hard thing to do, keeping your die in the right position, but it can be done. So once you've done that, that should be absolutely solid, and that will stop it from moving around later on in the process, and bam! Away you go, you can start producing your tablets. And that is how you select an upper and lower fill depth and that is how you adjust up your machine and then that should be giving you very very solid tablets fantastic thank you for joining us at londonfashionarts.co.uk or using our tutorial video on how to adjust your lower fill depths your ejection height and your upper punch pressure I hope that this video has been helpful if there are any suggestions or comments please feel free to get in contact with us through our webpage and we will do anything we can to help. Thank you and goodbye.